All right, guys, how's it going? October 26th, and I'm going to do something a little bit different today. Actually, probably a lot different, and I'm going to talk about a short film that's on YouTube that you can watch for free, and it's by Womp Stomp Films, I guess, and this film is a prequel to another film that they made, <clears throat> and it is about the Friday the 13th series. And the movie that I'm going to talk about, the short film, is Never Hike in the Snow. And I guess it's a prequel to their longer short film, uh, Never Hike Alone, which a lot of people have been really excited about. And this Never Hike in the Snow just came out recently. I've seen different people talk about it and say they enjoyed it. One of those, I think, is Cody Leach, and I think that he enjoyed it somewhat. I know he really liked the first one, and so Rambo Raff for Life recently had a rant on this film, and I guess that he liked the first Never Hike Alone, but he didn't like Never Hike in the Snow, and the people who actually made the movie commented on his channel, and there was a lot of uh, back and forth between them, actually, and I listened to his review, and a lot of it sounds pretty legit. Before I even saw what Rambo Raft for Life said, I had already kind of skimmed through the short film just to kind of see what it was like. And uh, because Cody Leach talked about it and stuff, and it just popped up like on my YouTube, so I'm like, okay, I might as well just look through it. And I kind of fast forwarded through it. I'm like, where's Jason? Where's the Jason scenes? And like, the only Jason scene that I caught the first time was when uh, his mom is, like, before him, and she's like, oh, come to mommy, Jason, and, like, he gets on his knees, and and I'm like, okay, whatever, like, I didn't really see any kills, and, um, but I just watched the film in its entirety, basically, while I was driving home. It's only about 20 or 30 minutes long, so I was listening to it, watching it, and earlier I kind of watched part of it anyways because I commented on their film and I thought that there was no blood in the snow because that's like the big thing that people would watch it for is like, oh, a Jason movie in the snow. Like, uh, And I thought that Rambo Raff for Life said maybe there wasn't blood in the snow or maybe there wasn't much or whatever. And they're like, well, there's blood in the snow in the first five minutes. So I was like, okay, I, skipped. I guess I missed that. So I went back and watched that before I just watched it now. So I got a good uh, viewing of that kill scene, and it's actually a couple times now. And um, <laughs> I think that uh, I'm going to use some language in this, so <laughs> there's a language warning. So first of all, Womp Stomp Films, that's a pretty stupid name for the company, uh, or Womper Stomper, or whatever, I don't know. But you know what? It makes me think of like some wrestling action figures, like... Womper Stomper action figures, <laughs> like like the wrestling, <laughs> like uh, I don't know, just bring the action to your home, Womp em, Stomp em. I don't know. Doesn't really sound like a horror kind of thing, but I guess that's what they're going for. Um, first of all, I said I didn't really like the music that was playing when Jason, you know, draws the bow and arrow to shoot him, which I think is kind of a stupid idea too. I haven't seen every single Friday the 13th movie, you know, I've seen, I did see the remake in theater, and I loved that one, and I guess that they hate that one for whatever reason, but um, it basically is everything that I would think that a Friday the 13th movie needs to be, just a group of kids, and Jason slaughtering them all, and you know, it ends with Jason being killed in a really grotesque, brutal way, there's a lot of brutality in that movie, a lot of surprises, and, um, you know, like, pop-up scares, and, anyway, I've seen Freddy vs. Jason, I love that one, too, there's a lot of kills in that one, Jason's just going around hacking people with machetes, and I've seen Jason X, which, you know, Jason in space, I really like that one, so I guess I've seen a lot of the kind of newer Jason movies, I, I need to go through and watch the whole series eventually, not sure if Friday the 13th is, like, really my favorite series anyway, but I do think Jason's one of the cooler, you know, killers, and if anybody's always like, well, what if Michael Myers and Jason fought or whatever, like, who would win? Like, I think Jason would always win, because you can drop, like, an atomic bomb on Jason, and he's, like, unstoppable. <laughs> but anyway, 
So yeah, in the beginning, there's this kid that gets killed by Jason, and um, I guess an older kid, like college age or whatever, I don't know. But he's out in the snow, he's running from Jason, he's like, Jason's already on to him, so we don't really kind of know what happened beforehand, but the film kind of goes back. And um, so I was starting off thinking, like, this is a prequel, and like, we're already going to need like another prequel, like, to, <laughs> to explain what's going on here, but it kind of explains itself a little bit. But... Anyway, yeah, uh, I don't like the music that's playing, like, when he's pulling the bow and arrow, because it's kind of, like, cool music, like, to, 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 I don't know, like, has, like, a beat, it's not, like, a horror thing, it's like, oh, like, this is badass, like, Jason's gonna kill somebody or something, and that kind of ruins the vibe for me, I don't think that that's, that's not the kind of vibe that I want, but, you know, after he shoots the guy, then it kind of goes into the horror thing, and then it kind of gets kind of serious. But, you know, I don't think that we needed the the other beforehand. I don't think that it's cool that Jason uses a bow and arrow. And he might have used one in the remake, because for some reason I kind of think that maybe he did. I don't know. I get it that Jason was supposed to be a kid that, like, went to the camp or whatever on Crystal Lake. And so he's familiar with... That's why he uses, you know, axes and machetes. And that's why he can use a bow and arrow, because he did it as a kid or whatever. But... To me, that's completely fucking ridiculous, you know? It's like, what, is Jason going to start using a pistol next? Like, just pull, or a shotgun? Which actually kind of does use a shotgun later on, but, you know, he's just going to pull out a shotgun now and just start blowing motherfuckers away. <laughs> or, you know what, why doesn't, why doesn't he just, even better idea, why doesn't Jason just pull out a cell phone? Like, hey, this is Jason Voorhees, I guess I can fucking talk now. I mean, come on. Just give him a machete. You know, he uses an axe afterwards, but... Okay, so he shoots the guy, like, in the in the leg or in the knee. Like, I guess it's trying to be, like, Skyrim. Like, take an arrow to the knee. Like, oh, yeah. Okay. Um, and the guy's, like, crawling away from Jason. Supposed to be kind of frightened. He's not really that convincing, though. It's kind of hard to get into it. Jason kind of disappears and then reappears next to him with an axe, whatever, and hits him, like, in the mouth with the axe. Okay, and he goes to the ground and so there's there's their your blood on the snow and the axe is like stuck in his mouth and it's all bloody but then he has like his tongue like sticking out like, uh, like that is like laughable to me like i don't know i guess you know they really thought they were really going all out with the effects and they were going to make it look realistic or they were going to make it look gross or it was going to be creepy or whatever but it's like okay so he perfectly like hit him like above the tongue or whatever why not just smash the tongue too like why not just it makes me think of the movie um jennifer by dario argento and the masters of horror where she has like it's like a woman that's supposed to be like really beautiful but she's like a monster and like basically like her jaw's gone or whatever and her tongue's like always sticking out like Ugh. but but yeah it just kind of it took me out of it it's like it's supposed to be like a uh comedy like a horror comedy or something and I was looking at this guy who did like does like kill counts on YouTube. I watched his video on this just to make sure to see like what the kills were um, before even watching it again too. And I'll probably never watch that guy's channel again. But some kind of kill count channel, and he talks about how there's two kills in this short film. And he talked about the effects, and uh, I really do appreciate practical effects, and gore, and all that stuff. Um, which I think there's also like CGI in this that's terrible, and we'll get into that later. But Anyway, I think, you know, he showed, like, he's like, oh, they have, like, some kind of prestigious uh, woman who did the effects, and he showed her, and she looked like some kind of SJW feminist, you know, uh, not to judge by a book by the cover, but she was just, like, covered in tattoos and had these huge uh, gaping gauges in her ears and stuff, and I'm like, man. You know what would have been really good if they would have just made her the monster? Just, like, drop the whole Friday the 13th thing and just have her as the killer. Like, I was kind of creeped out when I saw her. I was like, why would a person do this to themselves? I mean, I don't know if it's a her or a him or, you know, what the person wants to go by. But So they, they put a lot of money into this, and they have, like, top-notch, you know, actors and cameras and lighting and stuff. And so the film does kind of look good, but, you know, that doesn't always mean anything. It's like a polished turd. Like, it's got to be, like, the ideas and stuff that are better. So the whole tongue sticking out thing didn't really do it for me. 
probably would have been more effective just to not even have that, just have the axe in his mouth with the blood and whatever, you know. Uh, maybe there should have been some more blood squirting out. Um, but that's basically the only blood in the snow that we get, so that's kind of lame. Um, if you really want a movie that has blood in the snow and stuff, then you got to go for Shredder. And I reviewed that movie. That movie is badass. And the short film is nothing like that. So, anyway, you get a lot of cool kills in that one. But yeah, I think Jason should stick to melee weapons mostly. You know, axes, machetes, that kind of thing. Just impalements and slashes and stuff. That's all we really need from him. Um, but if you want to use the arrow, you know, I was thinking, like, my idea would be, like, the victim should have the bow and arrow. Maybe the guy was out, like, uh, hunting snow bunnies or something with the bow and arrow and, and Jason... You know, maybe Jason's stalking him from a distance, and he's not aware of it. But then all of a sudden, maybe Jason's, like, up next to him and startles him. And, you know, he doesn't know who Jason is or anything. He's like, oh, sorry, mister, I didn't see you there. But then Jason, like, stabs him. <laughs> and he's like, oh, man, what did you do? Like, you know, horrified, tries to get away. And then he's like, you know, stay back. And then shoots an arrow, like, through Jason's fucking head. But Jason doesn't flinch and just keeps coming at him. And then he, like, shoots, like, another arrow, like, through his heart or his chest. And, like, Jason just keeps stalking him, just keeps coming. Doesn't even flinch. And then, you know, then gets up to him, like, stabs him right in the head. I was thinking, like, it'd be cool if, you know, instead of having the tongue sticking out and stuff, why don't you just have Jason just clean cut his head in half? Like, just, I mean, it's Jason, man. Like, we don't need the axe, like, stuck in him. Like, Jason is a beast. Like, he just cut his head completely in half. And it's like, what did these films do? And I haven't seen the other one, but, you know, what did this film do that hasn't been done before? Like, what did you bring to the table, like, for Friday the 13th fans? Like I said, I'm not really a huge Friday the 13th fan, and I guess there's some kind of lawsuit or something from preventing, you know, a full, you know, movie being made again. I don't know. Don't even know that I really care. I'm sure there will be again eventually, but I guess there hasn't been since the remake or something, and... There's a lot of neck beards out there that are dying for their Friday the 13th fix. And I guess these guys are doing it for them. I guess that's the hole that they're trying to fill. But, you know, why... What what did you bring that was new? Or, you know, that was... You know, nothing. <laughs> you brought nothing. But besides that, okay, after that, basically... Uh, you know, he drags the body away, which is another thing that kind of confuses me. Why does Jason give a shit about you know, getting rid of the evidence or keeping the body or whatever, you know, he's supposed to be doing. You know, he should have just killed him and left him there. Anyway, um, and you know, like I said, like the arrow's going through Jason, like that's the whole thing. The, the whole thing about Jason is Jason slaughtering people, stalking them, and, and who's going to survive, and... And Jason just keeps coming, like, no matter what. Like, whether you, like, he can get shot, you know, you shoot him, stab him, set him on fire. It doesn't matter. Like, Jason just keeps coming. He just doesn't stop. That's what's, that's what's cool about Jason. That's his thing. Like, he's unstoppable. And he's brutal, you know. And is shooting an arrow, like, through a knee brutal? Like, not really. Like, I get it. It would suck. Like, if it happened to me, like, yeah, I'm sure it would be painful. But, I mean, it just, it doesn't look cool, and it's just not cool for a Friday the 13th film. And, anyway, the police, a police officer ends up coming to the mother's house, I guess. And, um, you know, it's like, sorry, your son's been missing, and we need to talk to you, or whatever. She's supposed to be all concerned and, and sad, you know, you're supposed to sympathize for her. But she's like, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, it's pretty terrible. <laughs> like, the whole, that whole scene with her and the police officer, like, they go to his room and look around and stuff, it's, like, really dry. It's, like, dry as, like, a saltine cracker. Like, it's, like, <laughs> okay. Like, so they start off with Jason with a kill. Like, they shouldn't have really started off like that. But, you know, I guess they had to be like, yeah, this is a Friday the 13th movie. Like, look, it's Jason. Like, okay, and now, like, we're going to go to some boredom like okay whatever and i guess that there's some the police officer some of the characters are from some of the other movies i don't know anything about that i thought the mom looked kind of young and you know maybe it's just me but it's like she looked like she could have just been her son's boyfriend like 
I mean, just maybe look a little older, but I don't know. Or maybe he looked too old. I don't know. But whatever. And we see basically that, you know, her son leaving earlier and he's a photographer or whatever. He came into the little cabin where Jason has candles and he has like his mother's skull or whatever. And he's taking pictures and that's when Jason like starts stalking him basically. And so, you know, the cabin with the candles and stuff, I guess that's all cool. That's, that's fine. Whatever. They're going to stick with that story. Um, yeah. I mean, the sound, and they, they have some of the classic uh, Jason, Friday the 13th, you know, sounds and stuff, which is cool, but anybody can do that. It's not really a big deal. Um, you know, and then we basically get another police officer. You know, we get a scene, the scene, like I said, with Jason, and, like, he sees, like, a vision of his mother, and, you know, She's like some young, younger, attractive woman. It's like, oh, Jason, come to mommy, come here. Like, that's pretty stupid. We didn't really need that. And I know that that's kind of what, you know, they've had before in the story, but that just seemed kind of stupid to me. I guess they just wanted to please the fans or something. I don't know. Like, why didn't Jason just try to kill, like, his mother? That would have been a lot cooler. Even though it was just, like, a vision. Like, he could have, like, swung at her. <laughs> She'd be like, how dare you? Like, and then she, like, disappears or something. <laughs> like, give us, like, a twist or something new. Like, something different. Like, anyways, there's a police officer. They're searching for the boy or something. And he ends up going into the cabin, too. And he has a shotgun. And, like, he gets surprised by Jason or something. Jason basically forces the shotgun towards his head. And then he pulls the trigger and, like, blows his own head off or whatever. That's the way that I took it, which looks terrible, and the CGI looked like crap. <laughs> I mean, it looks cool with, like, the blood going down Jason's mask, but that's about it, but the head explosion itself looked like crap, and then, like, the aftermath when it showed his head and stuff looked like crap. I'm sorry. This is not very good. So those are your two kills. That's basically how it ends, and it's, like, at the end of it, it's like, that was it? Like, what was the point of that? Like, what was even the point? I don't know. I mean, it's cool. There's people that are, you know, they're trying to do what they think needs to be done or whatever, but it didn't really do anything for me, guys. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, it's just kind of like, eh, you know, not very good. I mean, there was something that I should look up, and I was going to look up, but I don't know if I can find it exactly. But there is a fan made, and maybe it's made by some of the same people. I don't know. But uh, there was a fan made video of Michael Myers versus Jason. And I thought that was cool because, you know, basically all they do is like stab each other and stuff. But, you know, it was like all that I needed. What is it? This might be it. Evil emerges. Oh, uh, wait, see. Wait. By radical talent. I mean, you want something, a cool fan made Jason movie. There you go. Okay. Jason and Michael Myers. Something that people would want to see that hasn't been done. And this is good. It's Michael vs. Jason, Evil Emerges, 2019. Short fan film by Radical Talent, I guess. Look. This is good. This kept my attention. This is something that I would suggest to other people. I don't know who I would suggest Never Hike in the Snow to. I would suggest the movie Shredder. That movie's badass. Anyway, I don't know. Wampum Stompum. Ugh. So, that's it. I'm, I'm out of ideas, I guess. I'm exhausted. Through with you. Whatever. Peace out.